and low spin. Hey, hey, just do the thing. Um... Yeah. No worries. We'll see hello, Spartan. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, people talking in the chat. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I'm going to try this and I'll do talking and stuff. Um, uh huh? Yeah, you can know and you know and. Um, Uh, yeah, Theo, pretty much, and probably some more. I mean, we got two hours. We have a lot of things to cover with this patch. Oh, it's... Sorry, I'm really tired. I am, like, I'm... Don't worry, Spam. That's fine. Like, right. The All right, things out. Hello there. Hello. That's nice. <laughs> Yep, we'll show what's new and we'll uh, discuss wanna? the implications. I'm just talking to chat. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I can't let me so much. I'm not, I'm not a good host either. Yeah, one second, I, I'm typing. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Oh, we're just gonna wait for a few people to show up. More people to show up. I get to thing open. I'm gonna chat to see when people can get people going. Um, so I've just come back. From, I'm quite tired. I've just come back from a been out all day. So I am new to the changes myself as well. I will be looking into. Hopefully, we'll have somebody other than me who knows what's what's change and what's up um we can help talk about it uh, so i don't have to work them out as we go along but i do know what they are no halo orochi splash isn't unpunishable there's a punish to it <laughs> you can literally dodge and then do counter -attack. yeah you can just double attack it right um yeah But no, I wouldn't say any neutral attack uh, coming from one person is unpunishable. Mm. How's the audio, guys? Is everything fun? 
That's right. Well, Stag, you can invite me to the lobby, and uh, we can yeah, let me start actually... my streaming. I'm and you're going to start the game first. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you already had. No yeah, worries. So um, <clears throat> was too occupied with anyway. doing pre-stream stuff. Okay. Can probably close the uh, stream window then. The one I would have been rebroadcasting from. Yeah, just bear with us, please, guys. We are still doing some organizational stuff. And we'll kick things off in a bit. Right. Okay. Should load up some things. I think I'm sticking a long time to load. Uh the so Diana Inferossi, no, the combo lights are still four damage. Um so it looks like the opener light. We'll, we'll go through those changes in a, in a moment. What's it up? Um, Sorry about that. Uh, one second. Um, mm. Accidentally messed with us with something here. <clears throat> so yeah, the. The combo lights, uh, the confirmed light is 40, is 14, is 4 damage still. So overall damage is still higher than beforehand. Um, but the like the neutral light's gone down from 12 to 10, so it's 14 damage on what we said. Some things haven't changed. So the zone attack is an opener and confirms the, confirms the double light, but now it is still, it's still 14 damage on its own, so... It's a 18 damage zone, which I'm assuming you can get off a heavy parry as well. So, like, pretty big punishes for him. Um, some things have gone down more than just two. So the deflect punish has gone down to 18. So it's now 22 in total, which is below the curve. But, you know, it punishes... Um, it drops hyper armor now. And also he has... Um, like he, I mean, he also has a slip through slip through feet, which is presumably why they lowered the damage a little bit. Because with slip through boosting your damage by forty percent every time you dodge, his damage is really kind of nutty for him. So, I mean, assuming all these. Different, but, you know. but well, let me know. Let me know when. Ugh, let me know when you're ready, Stag, and uh, I'll join you in the lobby. Hey, let me let you. Or you can just invite me. Uh, uh, I have, well, I could have joined. I don't really see a difference. You... Yeah, sure. Uh, it'll be up on YouTube probably. All right, what do we do? All right, is Dan, Dan, Inferos, see you uh, later. Let me, let me do this. Why is this not working? There we go. Let's turn on the audio. Okay. So, what do we do? Um, right, we start up, load up training, and we will start off with Raider. So. Sure. Yeah, I guess we'll start off. Should we start off with the general changes, or because um, I guess we'll start off with option select being gone because that's quite a big deal. 
Um, oh no, not like him. I don't have money buying his. Um, oof. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just go pick it. You go. You I go. Already Raider. Yeah, I already picked him. Alright, great. Because you would you'd want me to pick him. I'll stream too. Can you hear me fair enough, or do I need to move close to the mic? It's it's fair, I know. It's okay, alright. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna stream to, to Discord, that's a bad idea. Uh, and probably not gonna be watchable on either Discord or Twitch. Maybe you can stream for the people that are watching on Discord. I mean. Oh, yeah, I guess I can stream to Discord. I don't know um, if people are watching, but... A secret perspective that only you can see on <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Is that... Was well, your PC can't handle streaming to both at the same time? I think it's the network more than the PC. Okay. Holy hell, this well, either way. Let me... Hang on, I'm gonna turn, my, turn down my contrast sli slightly. Game's really bad. Okay, that's better. But... You have to speak up for me, because I can't really hear what you're saying, Stag. Sorry, I just said, uh, my game's really bright right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, um... So, I guess the biggest overall change that will affect every character, almost every character, is that option selects are gone. Um, so, I guess, let me put my health and regenerate. You can just throw your zone attack to me, and I will parry it. Zone OS thing as Raider. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll I'll do I'll do it. Obviously, you can't zone OS with Raider anyway, but it's not a zone attack, is it? There you go. So I can parry it normally. Um, and if you faint to Garbrake, you'll catch on parry attempt because I'm parrying. That, that's that so. But I, if I try and zone parry it now, well, I'm still going to do the zone option select. The zone if you faint. But if you don't faint, that's wrong. That's just a guard break. I'm yeah. just getting it smacked. So you can see that I'm starting up my zone attack before getting smacked, yeah. even though I'm parrying on parry timing. If you press zone at the same time, anything other than heavy, you will. Well, you'll you'll just eat eat eat, a, eat an attack. Um, so that is gonna, you'll probably, you'll probably take some unlearning for m many of you, I imagine, if you're, if you're used to parrying with zone attacks, um, you will have to learn to not do that anymore because otherwise you'll get hit a bunch. And I know that when I was playing the testing grounds first time around, I definitely, hit. that took some adjusting as well, but it's in the game permanently now. So I guess we'll have to deal with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. The other things that we, that are, I mean, there are still going to be, no, I'll, I'll go over that next. So, other than obviously zone option select, there were option selects like dodge option select and bash option select and GB option select, and these are all also gone now. Um, even like highly cursed ones like emote option selects are gone. There's only one option select that remains in the game, and like one parry option select that remains in the game, and we don't all know the inputs for it. Um, yeah. Very few people do. It'll be, it'll be patched soon, though. It's, soon yeah, we, we hopefully we patch soon. We don't know how a timetable for that. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I'm sorry to bring it up because I'm not going to tell you how to do it. <laughs> yeah, um, I, don't, I don't even think we should mention it by name. Yeah, well, anyway, so it's basically all the options that's gone, all the mm -hmm. parry options selects. There are still... Um, I mean, I guess, could you throw me a... You can either throw a... You throw a top-heavy... And either faint it or don't faint it. Okay. Oh wow, I'm just bad. Um... Oh yeah, that deflector is. I guess you can faint the garbage as well. That's not up. Sorry. Well, apparently that's going to catch if I try and deflect anyway, but. That's how faint does too. Of yeah, something. You can hard faint to it in that case. Oh, that there we go. Oh well. I don't know if I'm slow, I'm still gonna. There you go. Yeah, maybe it's the. Well, not on this dodge attack because it's got a bunch of garbage vulnerability on it. Um, it has slow startup. 
but essentially there is still the option select finger quotes of deflecting or doing a dodge attack um and if i was to pick a different character like shaman i could still do actually let's do that um Oh, you're in charge of the lobby, so uh, yeah. Uh, Pick. We'll so, I don't know. Let me switch to Sha let me switch to Shaman. Yeah. Got to. Okay. I'm gonna stay with Raider. Right? Yeah, you stay with Raider. Um... All right. Sorry about the creaking, I'm adjusting my mic. So this is essentially a form of, I guess, input sanitization. Um, yep, we'll go over the crashing charge changes as well. I have yet to see them in action, so I'm looking forward to seeing yeah, how these either. things will... Well, apparently they, as well as the super arm, we'll, we'll need, probably need somebody else to come in and help with demonstrating things for, like, super armor and stuff because obviously yeah can't interrupt it as a one as a person myself but um i'm gonna put the patch notes up on the on the twitch bot in a second um... all right let's do this first though okay okay so, so if you can throw me side heavy um and i uh, and then either faint it or don't faint it basically and I will have to get the deflect timing right, which I'm bad at, but... No, yeah. Put this in the right. As you can see, I'm messing, I'm messing up the deflect timing because I am bad. Um... But the point... You'll see that I did deflect some of them, if I get the timing right. There we go. That was oh, too early. Again. Slightly too early, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, the, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm inputting the same thing every time. And um, so catches. Sorry. So, what I'm doing is dodging, and I'm using the zone input on the dodge, so I'm pressing heavy and light attack at the same time. And that is still works like an option select no they did as far as i think they did sort of slow down the uh, crashing charge crashing charge was um oh there's not normally pensive um i don't think they did slow down crashing charge because it was always 600 ms um well it has been for like, ages and ages so but we can look at it and see anyway the point is that whilst there is no um Harry option selects at least on the same timings as that. It there still are other option selects you can do. For an example, deflect option select, which that was. Whereas if you dodge and input both your deflect, pardon me, deflect punish input and the dodge attack input, you will do uh, the dodge attack. And I guess maybe at the end of this we can go over some of the other option selects which are still in the game because there are some more esoteric option selects which will uh, other than <laughs> i see you there slippy other than the uh ones which which we must not speak there are other option selects which are essentially part of characters move sets that work they do work like option selects but they are in this in the traditional sense in that you're output is dependent upon what your opponent presses but they are like intended option selects essentially things like soft feints heavies that you can soft feint into dodges so you can parry on heavy timing and deflect on light timing things like we don't well i guess we, mm. we probably won't call them will we call them option selects i think we probably should still call them option selects because they are option selects in the strict sense of the term and they do cover the same things but they aren't, yeah, so it's not, they aren't um, option selects in the same way as parry option selects that we know them are. They are other kinds of option selects. So stuff like um, Conqueror parrying on light timing and then full block 
and then superior blocking a heavy attack if it's a heavy instead of a light. That kind of thing is, is an option select. It's just different. Um, anyway, let's move on to the Raider changes. Why not? Um, Dag will be demonstrating these, and I will do my best to, to defend against them appropriately. Okay, so I guess the first change... Well, I'll start off with the basic stuff. His heavy attacks from neutral are faster, so if you uh, guard break me, and you can get a side heavy as a guard break punish. Mm -hmm. Still 24 damage, so it's not going much different. You can't get top heavy on it still, so it's just side heavies. Top heavy can be blocked, but not parried. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so that's, those are 800 MS now. As you can see, their damage has gone down from 27 to 24. Um, the top heavy is now a light parry punish, so I will, um, I'll just, like, dagger cancel on the top so you can parry on the same timing as my heavy. I can't block that. Uh, but the damage has also gone down from 30 to 27. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, lower damage than that. Can you get? I want to know actually if you can get the side heavy off the knee into the wall, like through the wall splat. So if you run. And buffering? No. no. Okay. So. I think it's, it's the same. Yeah. yeah, well, that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, so that'd be kind of busted if you could get a heavy off that as well. It used to be thing. I think it used to be a thing though. <laughs> No, you know you're supposed to get your side heavy off, off the walls, but not unless you had an ally to set it up with an extra hit stun. Um, other than that, for, we can look at his light attacks. That if you do the top light chain, yeah, top light chain, no more 700 ms. No lights. more 700 ms finish of lights, and no more 600 ms. Tonk can still zone up, can still zone on, like, and superior block heavy because it's got 100 ms startup on his zone. So we'll talk about Conk and like the other option selects that remain, I think, after we go with the characters and stuff, because yeah. that's a bit more a bit technical, technical, I guess. I'm and guys and we'll do some experiments as well, because I haven't... I've been away today, so I haven't had a chance to actually test this stuff, and um, we'll find out which ones are still available. But yes, the top lights for the Raider are 500 MS now, so he's got a three-hit 500 MS chain, which is probably not going to be good against... The top level players, but against your average player, especially on console, and against me because I'm slow, you're going to be landing those lights a lot easier. You probably also have a bit like, have I got ATMS reactions? <laughs> yeah. If you throw the guy on the ground, you get a side heavy. Okay, well, go on, throw me, do a forward throw into. You, you were always able to do that, I think. No, actually, I think was... it used to be unsafe. It's still unsafe, I think. Um, yeah, but you can always get a zone. I mean, it's the same damage as the zone, the same. Yeah. Like, Slightly less stamina cost now. You're always able to zone though. The zone is safe, so that stags me. If you throw a regular heavy, um, you don't have to hold it, you can just press the throw yep. straight away. That looks unsafe. Uh, do, it, do it again. Back screen. No, you were able to throw a side heavy, but it was unsafe, as it is now. Is that. No, the zone. No, it wasn't a thing before. It wasn't, it wasn't a thing before. It was just, just sure? now. Yep, absolutely sure. Um, go on, you can put me a low health and see if that can execute, because it looks like it's not going to execute. Uh, a light and then hit, a light and then you can... Yeah, that'll be good. Well, that'll kill me, at least. Yeah. No execution. So, you won't get an execution because it hits uh, in the middle of that. Um, no, we just checked on a wall, and it isn't guaranteed. So, just on charging, on a throw, but, yeah. I mean, I guess. I messed it up. I mean, late, got you can do it again if you want to. Demonstrate it again. Oh, Did you, try to parry you actually got for that? I think you tried to parry. I saw you got. I didn't parry. Uh, go on, I, sorry, I saw you got up. I saw you got up, and then you got disappeared for a sec. Uh, reflex card, probably. <laughs> oh, you switch sides now. What? Do it from the same side. So I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm doing it from left. There we go. Yes. Okay. Mm. Um, so yeah, that, you don't get that on a wall. You just, I guess, you get it on a throw, and it's not safe. But you can chain. So I guess it's less stamina, same damage. Another change from neutral is his zone has gone up from twenty-two damage to twenty-four damage. Onk. 
24 damage. It also now only costs 20 stamina instead of 50, which it was beforehand. So you can use it a lot more. From neutral, that is accessible a lot more. Um, and feeling costs 10. If you put your stamina not on regenerate, then we'll be able to see cost a bit more. Um, Let me not put it on off either. I'll re yeah, just on so we can see how much it is. Um, I mean, the Raider has 140 stamina, so you, you like it's still going to have a lot of uses of your zone. Um, so that's, I guess, that's a change. Um, and you got new chains. And yeah, he's got new chains. So first off, yes. you can chain from your zone attack into. Whoa, this got just crashed. Hang on. Give me a second. You there, Stag? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. This got just randomly decided to crash. Okay. Yeah, well, so you can zone into heavy and into light and into other zone. Yeah. And as you can see, you can also do your chain heavy into a light finisher as well. And you um, get lots of Or wasn't. You, beforehand, you couldn't chain a, a chain heavy into a light, and now you can. Hey there, Freeze, how's it going? And Rippy is here as well. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you, you, you can now chain into a second. Yeah, yep, we'll get to that. So, as well as that new chain, which is so, I guess we'll go that the, the, you can go chain heavy into light. So you've got all three hit chains now. Anywhere you want to do, um, yeah, and one. you can chain from your chain zone opener, and also uh, stunning storming tap now chains into second one. So I guess do storming tap light light or something. All of the chains that you want, you can do, um, which is really nice. And if you land a storming tap and then you go into a heavy finish, heavy attack, you can then still do a mix up after that. So you can still go heavy storming tap. Oh, that looked weird. Yeah. Something you may have noticed with the storming tap is that it is now enhanced. So you can throw it and carry on chaining. Oh, reflex guard is fun. So you have to parry that to stop it happening, essentially. Um, stop soft faint, tap the GB, yeah. <laughs> uh, you still have the same GB soft faints. Um, tap being is enhanced. And if you know, also, I don't know if you could see it, or you can tell easily from, from perspective, but the soft faint tap is now a true 400 MS attack. So people will be not will not be reacting to this thing. Um, it's going to be a prediction every time, pretty much, uh, except for maybe the very, very fastest people. Oh, that just but, snapped weirdly. Uh, so yeah, this is a. It's the 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 dodge version is still 533 ms. I haven't checked if the indicator is reduced. I think it looks like the indicator. It looks do some, really do some cool. dodges. Um, do some of the dodge taps as well. So you can see, also, doing 15 damage to me, the, the damage of the dodge tap has gone up. Um, soft faint tap is 12, dodge tap 15. Um, you also can delay the dodge tap quite a lot. I mean, it well, it works more. It works more as a as a you know a dodge attack now. I'll, I'll, I'll throw some heavies and you can dodge tap no, my. Like that, in the past, that would have definitely just hit you. So now, as well as a decent delay window, it's got good iframes, which is, you know, overall, it's actually probably a, it's a, probably a, a really good dodge attack. You know, 15 damage, enhanced, good iframes. What's the range on it like? You do the forward dodge one, see how far it goes. Well, it seems to, I don't know if they buff the range, but maybe a little bit. Try and delay uh, it so you get as... Looks... Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's hard. It's always hard to compare range, especially to memory. But I think, I think if you, you... Had... okay, we're gonna try. You're gonna do the zone, uh, zone, and I'm just gonna roll away from your zone, and be closer to, and then you can faint and then try and. Ow. Okay. Why is my my roll button isn't working? 
Well, the actual. Okay, sorry. The, you're rolling on my. Okay, what? You're oh, people have said screen. that back dodge seems to like people dodge in place and get hit by shit. So that might be something to it that folks would yeah, do. do, back do yeah, yeah. All right, we'll do that again. Um, all right. Basically, I want you to faint into it. Faint into. Oh, hey there, Blitz. How's it going? I want you to faint into the stain tap. So you're going to catch my roll. Phoenix, if, it, if I actually can fucking roll, I, not so I, I didn't hard know faint, like hard faint to dodge stunning tap. Oh, it catches you. Yeah, so that's what I want to see, right? Yeah, and that's going a long ass way. Which it... Forward doesn't. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. My roll input is just not working. Um... Okay, so it's inconsistent, but also forward is too Yeah, much. well, don't do the side one. It's always not really... You'll have to delay it if you... Um... Cut. I had no problem doing it with the forward dodge one. I, I don't know. It seemed really inconsistent there. I can do it in red. <laughs> I like oh, that the knee still drains the fuck to the stamina. Yeah, still... Uh, you can try again. Go on, dude. Oh. Yeah, that's a catch. You know, actually, now that we're not talking about flex, I might switch to um, Raider myself so I can show off whilst I'm talking. So sure. I'm, otherwise, I'm like, you know, telling you to do something, and <laughs> it always feels a bit, a bit rude. Um, Should I pick someone else then? <laughs> hmm? Should I pick somebody else? You can go Raider again. It's fine. Okay. Um, we'll carry on talking about Raider a bit. He's probably got some more things to to, to talk about. We talked about punishes already. The new ones? No, no, I don't know what the punishes are, so I'm, I'm, oh, right. like I haven't, I've only just um, just got back, so. Right. You, I can, I can help. Sure. Okay, well, how about we'll, you know what? In that case, Stag, how about you? We block it back at this. Invite freeze. No, no, no. I, I, I'm uploading and shit, so. Oh, okay. All right. My connection will be terrible. So right, you so just do what I tell you. Yeah, we'll just do what. <laughs> I <tell you. laughs> I'll attempt to with my stupid fingers. Antonio mentioned a few in chat already. So. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. All right. What we start with. So yeah. I mean, the easy one is uh, you get a side heavy on GB. Spaniard, thank you. Yeah, and we mentioned uh, the 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 side heavies yeah. and top heavy on light parry as well. On light parry, all right. So you have those. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, on a stampede forward, you get a side heavy as well, which yes. is unsafe unless you chain. Yes, unsafe and it can't execute either. So, but the zone still executes, still staggers. Yes. That's nice. Oh, sorry, you got. Yes. Yeah, so I want to do the fancy. Uh, out of stamina ones then. Yeah, I want to see those ones. All right. All right. Tag, yeah. you put yourself out of stamina. I'll do the mic. Yeah. All right. All right. Put your guard top. Back throw. Heavy into zone. I don't think. Uh, just like that was, short that, back throw. Yeah. Yeah. Back throw. Hold forward. <laughs> No, nope. no, 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 not side. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, you said only when like, your the guard guys, needs to be in top for that. To work. So their guard has to be top, right? No, your guard. Your has guard to be top. top, and you throw the heavy from top. I think. Yeah, I just... your guard needs to be top before your GB before your GB connects. And your guard need... needs to be top. Then you back throw, hold forward, and zone. No, what? Sorry, you want me to do a, a top heavy afterwards? Yes, top heavy into zone. Huh. Well, top heavy's not hitting. It should be, not you need to hold forward. Spaniard. Not the, th the th Throw me just straight back, not the, th not the 360 throw. Yeah. Top heavy and... Zone. Oh, the wall is there. Uh, you try him. No. Maybe I'm moving you around. So we're not bothered. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, with wall it always worked. There you go. But no. And on top. There you go. And oh, well. I yeah, I did the... Oh, yeah, just, just backwards. There we go, yeah. That's fine. There's but yeah, a chunky let me, punish. Let me, let me, yeah, let me, 65. Let me. That punish is safe 
Doing as well. long as your opponent stays out of stamina on wake up, if they regain stamina while they stand up, it is unsafe. Right, so put yourself on. We'll try and do this this way in that case. Put yourself on stamina, like regular, and we'll faint. You faint until you're out of stamina. Do I throw heavy? There we go. Unsafe. So, yep. Yeah, make sure they have a stamina for any Anything changed with the parry punishes? Well, hang on. It's not, not all. We have one more. Ooh. Because for that, you have your guard. You need it to be top. If your guard is on the side, you can do zone into zone, which is finicky. Hang on. No, I'll explain. Um, you need to wait long enough so you don't throw a light. But you can't wait too long or you will... Uh, Wake him up. Oh, uh, yeah, put your stamina on, on back down to. Uh, his... It's a safe punish, anyways, because you will stagger them on wake up. There you go. Okay. You might want to put your health back on regen, otherwise. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm just... You need to wait quite a long time before you input the zone. Otherwise, the game just thinks you're throwing a light. Oh, there, that thing. I... Can we try that again, please? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, sure. Um... There we go, yeah, and it's exactly there we go. It's Daggers. No, it's good, the though. same, Slippy. It's just light into a zone. But that thing is now always safe. Has it always been safe? I don't know. It is safe now because of the new recovery on the zone. I think it used to be safe. I wonder if you can get dodge tap into zone. Um, yeah, that's more damage. Might be unsafe. Looks safe to me. I mean, I guess if you get your stamina. But let me do, get this. Um, put your health on just on regen, just normally. Um, no, I'm finished with the guard break thing. Oh, it's like waits too long then. That's right. Oh, that is unsafe. Okay. Looks like it's still unsafe by the by the by the sounds of things. Um, but I guess I could do. I mean, his his chain. How much, how much his chain heavy is thirty, right? You won't let me see what damage. So in the past, you could do if you if you didn't want to do your zone, you could always do the chain heavy, which was like slightly less damage. Two less and, or something, right? Yes, two was too less but now because you chain from the first hit um tap directly into the pardon me you chain directly the second hit you don't get um uh you don't get you won't have as much damage if you go from like a, a tap into chain zone for example um if you do this this dodge tap it'll be well, that is yeah i mean it's still a nice chunk of damage and you can chain into the, your combo zone from that, so that's good, but it's um, not going to be as much. Should we do the like put yourself out of stamina again and just do some more. Please, I want to get that uh, zone into zone punish again. Like, yeah, people probably have to practice that a little bit. It's not uh, the easiest, I guess. You can't just mindlessly buffer it. That was good. That was and it. you can't wait too long either. Yeah, yeah, it, is, it does seem to be a tricky one. Um, Can I try, please? Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, these two are probably the biggest changes. Because it is massive, 62 and 65. Yeah, that's uh, some pretty chunky punches. What? I mean, if yeah. you get if you, if you get a line, line you get, you know, yeah, yeah. If you if that happens and you get a light into zone, you can still just chain into the zone anyway, and it's still a, a hefty punish. There we go. Yep, that was. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I missed the parry up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Still getting a nice little nap. Overslept. Kyle, how are we doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a bit out of it to be honest. Um, with being, I've been busy today, and I've only, only just got back, and I'm also super tired. So, 
Um, I'm a bit all over the place, but what is what else is there with with Raider? That we, oh, I guess it's high parama compared to the. All right, compared to the um, the testing ground changes, his high parama has been buffed back to being good. So if you dodge attack my stunning tap, for example, um, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> you pretty much like you're going to be safe from dodge attacks in general with this character. I mean, I think even if you do, yeah, even if your dodge attack gets dodged, like there's you can like you can't punish storming tap with the dodge. Um, why did that not go? I was interested. If you dodge my chain, oh, I was weird. I like I just didn't. There we go. That tried to be that. Yeah, you can't dodge attack this character very safely unless it's the finishers. So you can still dodge attack the zone, but then of course, if they, if you um, like, you know, if I'm going my, I can still. Oh, the chain window is really short with that. I was trying to chain to heavy on reaction, but. You don't change the zone though. Yeah, you keep on doing like just yeah, just do the dodge attack when you see the orange. How long can I wait for that to change? Oh, okay, I mean, a decent amount of time. See there, I'm trying to wait to see you dodge before I input the chain heavy and. Yeah, I think I do have to buffer this heavy if I want to trade, which is probably a good thing, really, because otherwise... Yeah, so you can dodge and then parry my heavy if I go for a... Well, okay. You, tra you, you, you tap just track my dodge. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing either. But, uh... Yeah, fair, fair point. Like, if you dodge attack my tap, is what I'm trying to get you to do. I have to... I have to buffer uh, my heavy to trade. And if I wait to see your tap... Oh, you know, actually that, that did work, so who knows. I guess, I guess it depends on the reactions of the player and, you know, your um, individual... Yeah, you have like, multiple how... variables there. Yeah, so... There's, yeah, so... You're gonna, you'll be able to. Should I guess if you're fast enough, you should be able to see if your zone or heavy attack gets dodge attacked, and you'll be able to chain to heavy. Um, not sorry, not zone, but the. Um, I guess actually your your neutral zone. Like I can, if you dodge attack your neutral zone, well, that's the chain zone because I'm an idiot. I chain to a light then because I'm also an idiot. That was way too early. <laughs> I'm actually buffering this, but it's still... I guess that if you dodge it... Oh, maybe the chain link's not... The chain link is quite long, presumably. So yeah, okay. Try doing a really delayed tap after dodging the dodging the, stunning, dodging the zone. So dodge late and do a late tap. You can't really delay the tap anymore. So I am chaining... I am mashing my heavy button. Trying really hard to chain that into it. Well, just don't don't dodge this so much. We'll see what the chain link is like. Sorry, you can't. It nice. feels quite bad when I tried initiating or whiffing it and like trying to do it at max range and shit. I often it just ate a light because I couldn't chain into the hyper armor heavy quickly enough. Yeah. So there must be like a three hundred window, or at least it's longer than heavy into heavy or light into heavy. Yeah, it's significantly longer. Like, well, yeah. If you try and dodge like my regular heavy, um. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah that's trading every time easily. But if you uh, do it on the zone attack, no, I'm really struggling to trade it. Okay, well that I mean that's interesting to know. I guess it will depend on the speed of the opponent's dodge attack as well and how early they dodge. Um, if you're playing a character like, I mean, 
a character like Kensei or Griffin that has slower dodge attacks, you might still trade there, I guess. Um, we can test that out later, maybe. I wasn't that happy with the neutral zone as, a, as, an, as an opener or whatever you want to call it. You're not happy with it? No, it wasn't particularly. I, I thought just backlighting was better in most circumstances. It's I, I, I don't know. Maybe you get a reaction, but it feels harder to, to trade like you just saw. Yeah, the chain link well, the, or the doing chain anything link. else because, yeah. I don't know, it felt weird. Well, when I get a chance to, I will look at those chain links and see if they're better. I mean, I don't think... I wonder if you, I can see you dodging and then soft faint to storm tap and then chain off. I mean, I guess we'll either dodge the neutral zone or don't, basically. No, I can't. I can't soft faint that on re on reaction to seeing you dodge, especially oh, dodge yeah, super early like that. Prediction. Okay. I mean, yeah. it's a static now, so. Yeah. So yeah, there's no variable. T oh, that's not. Yeah, that's another good point. There's no variable timing on there, on these anymore. So, it's always going to be before the, like, the window, which which means I can't demonstrate it here because there's only two of us. But it means that externally, that's always parable on the same timing as the heavies. So. You're not going to be able to do a buffered one, um, which would be unparable at the same timing as a regular heavy. It's always parable at the same timing um, because of that 400 MS window. It also means that the top heavy into Storming Tap mix-up is basically useless. Um, like, that is, I mean, it's, it, it's parable at the same timing. It's a light parry. You know, it's enhanced as well. If I'm not, if I'm not an idiot and parry like a million years early, there's basically you, oh, you might as well not bother with the top heavy as an option for this because, well, and I guess unless you want to really bait them into a parry and then your soft faint the guard break will catch them. Um, so there's that, I guess. Um, I guess the last change for Raider is his stampede charges faster. Not as far. No, I think they rewarded that actually. Yeah, it got taken back. It was sped up in TG, but they took it back to 600. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. After all that, I, guess. I mean, that's. They took it back to 600. It was 700 before. Oh, sorry. So it's 600 now, but it was 500 in TG. Okay, well, I mean, they are, they can be a bit weird when they give their t timing to so these out of lock moves. I guess I'll, I'll, I had it in the info hub as, se as 700 beforehand. So I will see if it's actually gotten any faster or if it's still. I mean, does it look, it looks a bit faster to me, maybe. Have we ever tested the dodge window of this one? Has no. it always, has it been, um, like crashing charge, where it was a, a different window than every other move. Stampede was fine, right? I can't remember. I don't remember it being different, but then I don't. I can dodge that very, very late. Um, mm, God, that was me. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Me being, how's it going? being intelligent on accident. I'm it's late, it. wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I I'm tired. feel like. Uh, I'll check, I'll check. It's fine, it's fine. What? Try and dodge. For me, trying to dodge it as is, late as possible is, is always a bit... Yeah, it is always weird with dodges in general and, and checking dodges because the hitboxes of these bashes move and depending on how you dodge and the game decides how it positions you, you can dodge into it, which means you can eat the bash 33 ms earlier, but you don't or know you, that. Yeah, or you can dodge it slightly later and if I like back dodge on the slightly wrong timing then he's still gonna yeah that yeah, was an it early hits, it hits not at the timing that it should like right now it should always hit at 600 but if you dodge oh. and you move your hitbox a little bit it can mean you you get hit at 633 or some shit which i don't know because it yeah it's, i don't know the game just no so then i that was there as an early back i mean of course that's the other thing is that if you side dodge you get the benefit of like the dodge probably on your side, so you can early side dodge. Whereas if you early back dodge, 
It's still gonna be well. Apparently, Come you do it a mile away. <laughs> I don't know if you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys already covered this, but you can now dodge the zone after knee splat with Raider. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, okay. yeah. Well, then, if, um, if, can if they, if the, yeah, if you throw them into the wall and knee them, and then you dodge, they can dodge the zone. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> yep. No, no, definitely. Well, the par I guess in that case, it's going to have super visible, I'm, I'm, super I'm, easy parry timing as well. In that case. Oh. I mean, but you're never going to throw that anymore. Why wouldn't you just go into your chain offense with yeah. no option selects? Chain zone is god move. Like, whatever you want it to be, man. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I mean, actually, I can, I, I don't know, I'll can. i do it from my end, uh, Stag. I'll do the knee into zone. You can actually see the zone indicator. Which you... No, oh, I'm just mashing it. I didn't um, like that was a difference. How come? Well, what changed now? Did they change the... The, the duration the you are on the wall, because otherwise the heavy would have been confirmed. Is that what why they changed it? They must have. That's the only thing I can think. I mean, it also feels like you're not chaining into the zone as fast as you used to. No, it always felt really delayed. I literally... But yeah, I should have checked the the duration your wall splat. I mean, it feels way slower to me, but. Yeah, so that's I mean, oh, card late dodging. I mean, I have clips of that in like, tons of. Them. You can see the, you can see the the indicator from the zone there, so it's gotta be it's gotta be later than it, it's definitely later than it used to. There you go. Yeah, so, you can uh, you can dodge it. It's a powerful thing, but you're always gonna just go into the light anyway, and then go yeah. into the bigger part of the mix up. Absolutely. Um, I just wonder. Uh, you probably won't. Used to be able to get if their do if their guard was sight. You used to be able to get a stunning tap. Try this. Try it now. Um, see if you can get a stunning tap off my. You used to be able to get. Oh, on the knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I m missed input. Oh, my guard's top now anyway. So. Okay, side dodge. You know what? Buffering I'm gonna do it on you. Uh -huh. Buffering a side dodge doesn't work. You can't do it with the dodge anyway, it needs to be a soft fit. I wasn't yeah, it needs to be heavy and... Uh... Yeah, so guard on the side and I'll heavy and soft faint tap on you. I mean, it's pointless, it's the same damage. Yeah, and it also goes in the second part of the chain, so there's no point in it. You would yeah. just do it the other way. Yeah. Also, too, uh, I don't know if you've checked the values on this before. Everyone told me I was crazy earlier when we were testing it, but I swear that it, that drains more stamina now than it used to. I was having a much easier time putting people out of stamina, running them into a wall. I mean, it has been a while since I played Raider because it's kind of been terrible for a while. My, uh, but, does, uh, uh, you know, right? it's, is, that, is that what it's always been? It's been 30 no, for a while, yeah. But you get, uh, maybe you're thinking, like, if you go from a guard break, so if you if you go the 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 bash, just the, 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 oh. the running version into the wall, not like that. Mm. The one that's not that one. So you can see, normally you do. There we go. Oh no, that is. You know what? That that's did that use forty? I think. Did it always used to do twenty on impact anyway? Did, um, oh, I think am, it did. Am, am I misreading these values? I mean, possibly you are. Yes. Okay. Well, maybe that did do twenty. I think I, I felt like today, like I was like, oh, I'm putting people out of stamina like crazy. Like it felt uh, that that didn't seem to be a thing for a while. But I don't know. I mean, when kids need to stop moving so much, just just yeah. stand there. Jesus. <laughs> um, if we check Raiders out of lock finishers. They seem really laggy clearing um, minions. Well, um. Well, it probably has a janky animation if you finish to the top to clear, but you're just gonna light clear your minions. Yeah. Did they change those chain links? The out of lock ones were quicker, right? I don't remember. Um, I can see maybe if you go heavy, heavy light, it's a new animation. Yeah, it might look a bit janky. Yeah, light, light, light is how you're gonna clear the line anyway. Yeah, this is gonna. This is fast anyway. I was always quite. That always felt very fast. Um, well, ever since he's had his first rework and they've used them. Someone wants to see zone to zone. Yes, zone to zone. Zone to zone is super helpful, I think. Well, I mean, it's a good mix up because option selects are gone, but also, too, when people try to GB you after they dodge your zone, it's kind of fucking insane. 
Did you get hit by it? Jesus, I'm... Whoa! Yeah. That was lagging. You can, have... you can heavy off of that as well, right? Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. That. Yeah, that right there, yeah. man. You catch somebody trying to GB you after they dodge, and then he gets the 100 MS chain in a uh, vulnerability on it. Yeah, so... Big damage. No, he's, he is going to be scary um, in terms of 1v1 pressure, and I think also, like, you know, team fight pressure as well with those big unblockables. Um, uh, I, don't I don't know, know how you get to... So I was just going to say, I, I don't know how you don't put him as the second best char in the game. I mean, it may be tied for first. I mean, him and Goki are just... Really? Yeah, he's insane. Huh? Oh, he has unreactable neutral offense. He has good team fighting. He has good hyper armor. He has... There's not one tool that he doesn't have. He's just like Shigoki in that matter. He has a neutral unblockable. And yeah, unblockables yeah, no, are king anyway. Like, yeah. I feel like the... The chainsaw isn't as good as people would like it to be. No, it's not zero MS like it was, or it was just insane. But that's what. Uh... Oh, you said chainsaw. chainsaw I like talking about the chain yeah. armor. No, no, sorry, no, sorry, no. sorry. Just well, you can't you can't it's... light people out of it, and so all you have to do is get something to be able to land, and then you put them in a mix-up where I mean, it's really it's going to be really hard to deal with. I mean, sure, your reaction players you can see flash are going to be. Um, I think you're just going to hit too many teammates with it. No. That's always been a thing. It's just to get out of the way, man. We're throwing he's hats. Like, um, he's going to have... Sure, but I think confirming that thing will just... I don't know. You, you probably confirm damage on your teammate as well, depending on how it looks. I, I think it's... Because it's static always from right. There's no option that in ganks you just throw it top or some shit. It's always coming from the right. Always huge cleaving thing. You always, like, I don't know... Eight damage to your teammates, depending on who's around. You confirm some shit for t uh, for opponents. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much. But I think I mean, Goki it's and static. JJ, Goki, JJ, Kensei, like all those characters hit everybody in the entire fight when they go to hit things. You know, they have yeah, the option of top, but they have an option to go top if they need to, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess in a, in a gank situation where it would get in the way, but I mean, also, you don't have to go into chain zone. I mean, you could use your chain heavies if you really didn't need yeah, to get yeah. somebody. Know, but... yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. It's day one, but second best, or even best, Jesus. I don't know. Yeah, I, feel, oh. I also feel like something that he will, like his chain zone, if you go like light into chain zone or whatever. Now, I'm still going to be able to dodge and get a guard break on that, whereas you just can't dodge. JJ's finishes and get a guard break, and you can't peel them because he's got dodge cancels. I think he's going to be one of these like high risk, high reward characters in team fights because you, when when he goes into his chain zone or even his neutral zone, they're quite easy to peel if you've got something that's fast to to knock him out of it. All right, let's go down the list of things you need to be a god character. Can you punish Bash? Yeah, he's got it. If you can dodge it on reaction, do it. Uh, he has uh, unreactable neutral offense. That is big plus. Now with no option selects, does he have him block? Well, sure, he's got him from neutral and in chain. Does he oh, have yeah. hyper armor in order to trade? Yes, he's got that as well. Does he have big hitboxes for team fights? Yes, he does that as well. Does he have the ability to have good games? Yeah, he's got three chain heavies and every other chain known to known a man so if he needs to confirm and or be the damage dealer then he's got all that. He has a running attack that ledges. He has good feats. Um... I literally can't come up with a good thing of, well, he doesn't do this well because he literally does all of it well. If his biggest downfall is you can dodge his chain zone and get a GB, yeah, so I'm going insane. No, not, you can also, no, you no. can also dodge Shigoki's charge heavy and get a GB. That doesn't make it a bad move. Oh, like, yeah, no, I'm not saying it's going to be a bad move by any means. I mean, I just mean that in terms of, I guess maybe it like used to be in team fights that safety was the most important thing, so... When in back when the Bushi was like you know the queen of team fights, it was dodge cancels, recovery cancels, and everything. And I feel like with JJ and Jan Hu, they 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 can do things, and they're also very safe whenever they throw anything because they can recovery cancel to avoid a move, uh, avoid dodge attacks, and they can avoid guard breaks as well. You do a target. Do a target swap neutral zone, like a BP bulwark slash, and then uh, chain afterward to prevent yourself from being GB. Oh, yeah. the there you go. Zone. Now you're mega safe, man. Oh, yeah. The neutral zone is, is, is definitely safe from that. Although we did show that it has might be easier to punish with things like 
you know, poke moves rather than guard breaks or anything. You can still punish it with, and obviously you can still punish it with fast bashes as well. So, <coughs> although there's not that many, I guess, in the meta now, for characters like BP and Warlord aren't featuring as much. No, Warlord Char no longer exists. He's yeah, not there so. anymore. That that crashing charge move is hilarious. Holy moly! Well, <laughs> shall I think now it's probably a good ch time to let's have a look at them. We'll, we'll we'll go crashing charge and then we'll look at Orochi <laughs> stuff. Um, because obviously the big nerf is that crashing charge, which was one of these like meta defining moves, has finally received a nerf. And now I, and yes, Carl saying the, the ward character is no more. Um, the it actually looks there. like it's in slow motion when he does the charge. It's actually comedic. The Ronta sacrificed himself so that Raider could live. Well, Raider, Raider, Raider would be dead again soon. They'll kill him. There's no way, he... man. Yeah. I mean, I think they'll get damaged nerfs, probably. But um, Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He probably won't see any, like, massive, gigantic, like, re reverts back into, um, being, you know, not good again, but, uh, yeah, I mean, his damage, it's gonna come way down. Yeah, well, they have been, they did say in the patch notes that they are gonna be, like, looking at damage overall, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a decrease in, like, damage on unblockables just full stop. Oh, so yeah. uh, if if you whiff it, it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> go on. Oh wow! If you whiff the charge, oh, it you haven't continue. seen it yet. Okay, <laughs> I have no. Yeah, what is six hundred instead of eleven hundred or something? <laughs> MS. So basically, oh. the charge is now like every other move, where if you miss it, you can punish it. Um, <laughs> I guess yeah. that does kill it. Um, that was one of the things I do. I always said was crazy powerful about it. Is that if you dodged it, it doesn't matter. You're not punishing it was, because he's gonna run away um, into I, the next I, postcode. Will splat someone right. and then try and do anything but a heavy. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's right. humorous. You can't do anything, man. It looks like such a, I don't know. It's like a, a second pause where you can't do shit. It does. It stun locks you like in place. You can't even like move sideways. I was really hopeful for a second. I managed, Just me being bad. I managed to catch Spine on a late dodge and I was hopeful. Yeah, no. That's ah. fishing stat. It's really weird. Like, yeah, I don't that, know. That I mean, stuff like that just feels bad. You know, when you have to make a change and then the result is just the character feeling garbage? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think. Have I now. feel like... No, no, just the I move mean, itself. Just if you perform it and then your character is just stuck there in this endless recovery because you know okay. they have to change the move somehow, but this this is just the end result and you know it's going to stay for like that for a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I mean, I feel like that's... Uh, well, let me, let, me, let me have a go and let me let me see. You, yeah. you, you put your health on Rita and I'll, and I'll spam, I'll smash you around. Uh, I saw Leo asked in chat about uh, Warlord in the meta. Uh, he didn't... Him and Shugo weren't fighting for the same spot anyway, but yeah, he's out of the meta. In order to be in the meta now, you're going to uh have required a dodge attack uh that's somewhat sort of good i guess jj might get away with not having it but but he's probably going to be the only exception everyone's going to have to have a dodge attack in order to be good and warlord doesn't have that he doesn't have crashing charge anymore and you also need an unblockable that's super helpful to get in the meta right now since option selects don't exist so no unblockable no dodge attack no way to punish you go ahead but uh he is back to a matchmaking character Look at how fucking I mean, long this... He just stands like a fucking bellend for years. I mean, yeah, you Wait, still get the heavy, okay. so... I'm, I was, I'm pretty I sure I just managed to fish you, but I don't know. No, it's just I'm out of lock, so I can't dodge. I'm myself I'm exhausted, so... If you, do the, if you do the crashing charge, this is the other big change, is it? Crashing charge on an out stamina person will... That's a throw. Throw still on balance. Crashing charge... Well, you get into a wall. Uh, he also lost armor on throw, right? Not just crashing charge. Okay. Which yeah, is a unique like, thing, I, then, right? Like, you do have stamina, and I'll do the demonstration. Yeah, I, 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 I got it. Oh god, now you're on stamina again. That, no, whatever. <laughs> nice! Stand still in the middle and put yourself out of stamina. You know kids can't hold stuff. <laughs> okay, thank you, Freeze. 
I there mean, you go. I'd, so you, I'd, this I'd, move no longer unbalances you if you have out summoner. Of course, if you throw them, yeah. and you're not bad like me, you can still get yeah. These guys, well, with yeah, one hundred percent pros. There that you wasn't still, I just, that I just ate I know. It. Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> You did tell me to send Oh my god, it. I'm an idiot. To be honest, I was never very good at this to start off with, so I'm going to claim that it's not a big deal. But uh, okay, you can no, still you... get a crashing charge <laughs> off knocking somebody over, and then... Oh my god. I'm doing that. Uh, you go, someone I can show. Yeah, you can do it on me. Guard break, throw me, and then crashing charge me. Um is basically what I want to point out. Okay. Um, yeah, it's real, real, real. I'm, I'm just terrible. It's just me, isn't it? There we go. There we go. Okay, so you can still get, you won't just, won't get a punish from that. You'll get, you can still choose if, if you have the opponent out of stamina that you can like push them a long way to, to potentially, potentially ledge them from a long distance. So that's nice. Um, no, so the meta characters would now are going to be Shigoki, Raider, JJ, Zhang Hu, and like, yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe people want to take Gladiator. Um, Raider, Raider definitely. Sure. I think Raider's almost almost a certain meta character mm. now because he's got some sort of feats and some sort of moveset. Maybe um, Orochi? I'm not sure. I don't think Orochi's going to be meta myself. I mean, but the, we'll, the, the we'll... dodge cancels are huge. Can't deflect and unblock all. Well, you have to so yeah, that's crashing charge changes. It now is just a normal type move it's and not normal. insane. It's no, it's it's normal. if you if you compare it to stampede charge, it's basically the same. In fact, it gives you slightly. Is it like more? No, it's about the same damage on wall splat. Yeah, twenty seven is that? Is they're both twenty seven actually? Um, twelve plus fifteen is twenty seven, right? I'm not. I mean, yeah. Both 27 damage, you can execute on this one. Um, so, it's basic, yeah, it's basically Stampede Charge, I'd say, in terms of I how strong it is now. That, by the way, I reacted to your own, and I was able to get you out. You can punish it if you miss it, basically. Um, as for whether his now his, his regular throws don't have super armor, I think that's actually quite an interesting choice, because it means that you're not you're not going to be in a position. I don't know if you ever, like find yourself in a gank and you've got somebody, you 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 get a guard break and you throw somebody and then because you're in a long throw animation, you eat five heavies from you know the that opponent's round. Obviously, you made a mistake if you throw somebody in a situation where you can eat heavies anyway. But because throws are normally super armored, you eat a lot of damage. So maybe this is actually a, it might be. The only throw damage. then, though, right? Pardon? It's the only throw without armor. I think there are some others as well, but like it's it's inconsistent. Like some don't seem to have super armor nearly as much. I know that I know that at least with Raider, I've definitely I mean the forward like, throw doesn't, yeah. But the other. I know I've done things like Raider's like roundabouts throw and just sat there and eaten like five heavies from my trouble. Um, yeah, that but, one has ammo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think yeah he needs a dodge attack. Be mm. somewhat rel somewhat. I mean, just needs that. Just remove that move now. It's like, yeah, what crash, the fuck crash, is this? Crash, just, just, just go. be done with it then. No, nah, crashing charge is... It's, it's, now, it's now stampede charge, just... No. I don't know, it feels worse, doesn't it? I mean, I, it's going to feel worse than it used to be, because it used to be meta-definingly meta -definingly good, and now it is yeah, on it par used, with stampede charge and... It used to be an absolute hilarity on high fart point C. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you're still going to be able to get ledge kills with it easily if you go if you look at like a bunch of the you look at like um comp footage from tournament matches some of them are getting like some of the ledges are from fishing but a lot of them are just the standard you're in the middle of a fight and then rond comes in from the distance and ledges you in you know the thing that was a mile away from you uh, but, and i think that's uh... still gonna be, still impossible you can still throw you can still cap Carry you a very long way with the actual crashing charge itself, right? I mean, that's the I same think, as it used yeah, to do, that's, right? That's the old distance. So you're gonna go 
a long way with it. And it's, it's, I think it's the rumors of its death. I think are greatly exaggerated. It's now no longer like it's, it's not something that forces you to be in, a, forces you to take this character, or else just be missing out. It, it, um, the the reason why you used to pick Ron is now gone, but it's yeah. still it's still good. And also, we're in a meta where characters have more. I mean, his his zone is still good. Good hitboxes, good tracking, um, undodgeable. So I think now I in the obviously the lack of the dodge attack is the main thing. He's going to not have against unblockables. He has nothing that beats faint to guard break and the unblockable like dodge attack suit. Anyway, let's go to Orochi. Um, you're in charge of the menu, aren't you, Stank? So yeah, yeah. I just waited for you to tell me what to pick. Sorry, no worries. I was just talking to myself more than uh, more than you. <laughs> I forget anyway. Forget. I I went to the menu to be like quit with group and oh I can't do that. That's not then sell the menu itself. All right, Orochi. What? Let's. Have... So he's probably got the most changes since his rework, since the testing grounds, and also I think overall. Oh, I dropped out of the group. Um, I'll invite you this time. Okay. Or are you just rip? No. You can interrupt me. Can't see you on Uplay anymore. Now that's weird. <laughs> Let me try the other one. Hang on. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get you in. Oh, you're on Do Not Disturb, that's why. Oh. Okay. I have sent the invite. I oh, the background. It. The new wave, wavy background is coming cool. Right, it is Orochi time. Let's get anime up in here. Shut up. <laughs> couldn't be could be bothered to finish uh, the the warrior trials. <laughs> <laughs> you get like um is it three K mm. steel for doing it? So you might as well. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I it sucks. It just sucks. What what the thing I I haven't done yet, I it, it just it's a pain in the ass and I can't be asked. Fair enough. Um Okay, so Orochi's changes. Um well, I guess we'll we'll go into the. We'll just just start it off. So the biggest thing is now, if people complain about Orochi's light spam anymore, you know they are actual morons. Well, oh, hang on, hang on. Because he, in my have... opinion, he's gonna be the like back to the spam character. You think so? Yes. Because. He... he just can't do, like, he does something, dodge cancels it with one of the fucking yeah. 15 dodge attacks he has. The thing and is... Because some of them are, are fast, quote-unquote. They're going to complain so much because there's, like, no knowing when it, when they're, when it's their turn. Well, you say that. On the other hand, like, to do a dodge cancel, you have to press more than one kind of button at a time. So, uh, Stag, can you stop? Oh, my God. Just chill, man. Um, so to demonstrate the changes, okay. Um, he has after his every open attack, he has a double light. So not just top, sides, heavies, dodge attacks, uh, storm rush. Um, even his deflect. If you throw me a top attack. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Everything you do, press light attack immediately afterwards, and you're going to get four extra damage. Um, his neutral damage has gone down a bit, so only... Oh yeah, zone attack now as well. Um, that's also an extra light attack. Everything you do, only on light attack guard, after. You, if you do zone, um, you don't get, the, you don't get the, the double light on the right or top, only on left. Yeah, but you, are, yeah, that's the okay. case. With, with all of these, you can, you can either chain in the same direction, or you can switch guard to do a chain light, which is 13 damage. But essentially, this character, they 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 really took the light spam complaints about 
Orochi to heart because this character now can no longer light attack spam. Um, because he does this. My bad. And then that's it. Um, he doesn't even doesn't have a third light anymore, so just two lights. And the second one's going to be a like confirmed light almost 99% of the time. So, yeah, character does not light spam anymore. To compensate for that, what he does do, I guess now what Freeze mentioned, is dodge attack spam. Because you can dodge into everything. I tried to hurricane blast. She spam Riptide. There are going to be people complaining about Riptide spam. Guarantee you that. This is anime as fuck. <laughs> you can also... So, dodge cancels everything, and he has a kick. But yeah, if anything, this 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 is the hero we're going to complain about now. He's right, stack, back to stack, being the stack, spammer. You stay, stack. I can't demonstrate things with you jumping around. Stay still. Um, I'll do the button present. Uh, he has a Sorry. kick now. This kick confirms a... Chain light, unlike other characters with the batteries, you can't zone afterwards, so chain light. But you can chain straight into finishes. So if you dodge it, um, now can you dodge my kick? Yeah, let me dodge it. <laughs> it... Okay, that was lag. Sure, sure. You're laggy. I'm <laughs> laggy, yeah. You can chain that into finishers, lights, or chain that into finisher heavies. and um, Or, of course, you can... Oh, I didn't dodge that once said. Or you can dodge cancel it. So like, try and dodge attack my kick for me, thank. Yeah. So yeah, you can dodge I cancel. Failed. Oh, I messed up the, the the double light. But yeah, he has something similar to Aramusha's Blade Blockade, just in the form of his deflect. So if someone dodge attacks you at any point in the chain, you should be able to yeah, at least attempt to deflect. It's not as easy as the Blade Blockade, where it's just... Oh, hold so back. Yeah, it's going to be Got quite it. safe against... I think you'll still be able to punish... I mean, obviously, you can punish on prediction. You can punish a bash with a light attack. I don't think he has frame advantage... Well, let's, let's try out his frame advantage on, um, like, to his bash. So I'm going to basically... Well, kick just, into kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just try and light interrupt me anytime you can, Stag, and we'll see what things he has. Um, I do think so. <laughs> oh, all right. Even from finishers. Yeah. I'm just mashing buttons. Yep. So I guess this is his new spam. Um, although Kick if spam. if you uh, if you get if you're getting hit by this, then I mean that's on you, mate, isn't it? You uh, can try uh, kick into kick, like dodge the kick and try GB it. Dodge the first kick, GB. Eat the that second. That was laggy. I mean, yeah, but if you're gonna do that, you're gonna... that's the thing you want to punish a GB with. So, yeah, oh my, God. Um, my point is, I... you never want to throw a GB there. Yeah, yeah. it's just, um... I mean, not never, but if even yeah, kick into the... kick is possible, my yeah, most of the things he's gonna do, he's gonna punish you with either a light, and he's gonna change with light, or he's gonna change with heavy, or whatever. I mean, like. He's got a lot more options in there. Oh, you don't cancel. slippy. You, you don't punish it. You just you make a big fucking read. Is he gonna throw a light? Is he gonna throw an unblockable? Is he gonna throw a heavy? Is he gonna go into another kick? Is he gonna do nothing? You can throw a light if he's going into another kick. It's just yeah, it's big read time. But this is one of the safest bashes we have at the moment, I think. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I, I mean, I think you probably on. I think very early dodges, you should be able to punish it with a dodge attack. So, like, if you dodge attack as soon as you see me move, you should be able to get a dodge attack. But if you use your um, Riptide Strikes, that's quite fast. Um, sorry about Strike. Yeah, BP, I guess. <laughs> that, was <laughs> Just nice. fine, yeah. that was some prediction. 
it's the back dodge light. Oh. That's that's fuck, yeah. I'm I'm tired as fuck. Oh, okay. Well. Alright, I guess, yeah, even that. Well, I think they will have to be prepared. Either gotta be fast or, you know. Yeah, you could be able to um interrupt on a read if you see with a light attack, I guess. Probably not on reaction to the, the four dodge, but like yeah. It's a safe bash for certain, so it's going to be quite good offense, especially at a level where people can't react to it. If you can react to the, the orange, it's still very safe. But um, if you dodge on a reed and they don't chain, you probably can get a guard break. I mean, we'll try now. Um, just, just dodge away the forward. Dodge. Yeah. The kick. That's not a guard break. Side dodges. Um, gotcha. Ah, oh, God. Sorry, I'm 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 getting really tired. That's okay. I mean, dodge bash is just fuck with other bashes. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I mean, dodge bash. Got... Yeah, but you can't deflect it. Right? Yeah, but you can still dodge attack it. So you know, and his dodge attacks now obviously get the double light as well. So they are. Will he be able more... to? I, mean, I think so. I think he'll be able to dodge, dodge cancel it into dodge attack. I think it's likely. Yeah, um, maybe. Oh, noodles. Um, okay, so other than New Bash, which is very safe, he has Storm Rush has been changed. So it is now. You're, okay, can you think? Well, you can try and block these stag. I'm no worries if you can't, because you know it's late and I can't block them anyway. But um, from every direction, this is undodgeable. And they have the same indicator speed, which is. The an the attack is 600 ms apparently. The indicators are 500 ms, well 400 ms, so it's like a 500 ms light essentially. Um, and it does 20 damage total, so it's actually going to be quite a quite a strong move. And I wonder if you can um, try. Yeah, it's light into storm interruptible, so we can try this one. Um, that's light. Uh, light. I'm, an idiot. I'm pretty sure it is. That storm rush was probably never guaranteed unless. On a finisher heavy, I think, and that's medium hit stun. I think dodge cancelling into it never does it. I'm gonna try off my heavy. Um... Oh, that's just what. Okay, yeah, but that's heavy hit stun. Do it on forward dodge, not back dodge. Uh, I was doing forward dodge. Um... There you go. Just do the top one. Not confirmed. Uh, not, not... Ah, I'm trying to walk. So the question is, yeah. can you get Storm Rush into Storm Rush? I'm going to try doing it, like, try interrupting Storm Rush after Storm Rush. Yeah. Okay. So no Storm Rush. So no Storm Rush, storm rush spam, unless you're sleeping. Yeah, like fair enough, Nacho. Uh, if you just delayed so much no. that you basically outweighted his recovery cancel period. Then yeah, I guess that'll do it, the trick. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, because like dodge cancels like. But uh, yeah, not every like, character can do that. Like I'm, I'm gonna try and to delay my dodge cancel here. And if I don't, oh, I just, it just it just eats the input apparently. If I don't, if I dodge fast enough. Apparently this is variable between 200 and 333 ms. But my ability to buffer things within. A 133 ms window is fairly minimal, so I don't think I'll probably d display that very well. But if you wait, you're back in normal dodge recovery, or or even like I, I dodge then it just ate my input. So. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, we so storm rush. Uh, I said you can also do it from forward dodges now. So his mix up from forward dodges essentially his kick or his undodgeables from. I mean, you can do the light. You can do the, the dodge light as well, which is faster. Um, but yeah, you his like is actually. I think it's going to be really quite good offense, um, especially if you're not able to react to orange because it's going to be unreactable most for most players. And now he goes into a you know a high damage unblockable of it and. Oh, 
I'm trying to do the double light. There you go. And there you go. Oh, so, God, yeah. I had so many... <laughs> um, I think, yeah, 1v1, the character's going to be pretty good, really. Um, I still think you, like, in team fights, external pressure is minimal because he can you can just block him externally and dodge away. At least for characters like but they don't have guards that move in that direction or aren't reflex guards. Um I don't know, I don't I'm not sure if I see him being relevant in team fights. I mean if we go through what uh what um so relevant in, in the metal when I mean, we go through what Kyle said, does he have unreactable offense from neutral? Yes, mostly unreactable. Does he have an unblockable attack? Yes, only top guard, so not really hitboxes. Uh, does he have great feats? Mm, nah, his feats really? are fine. I think he they're does, not, right? I think great. I mean, they're quite I don't stable. know. I think Ki is busted as fuck. Ki is all right. It doesn't have any stamina pause on it though, so it's like Ki, and then you have one mix-up. I mean, it's good. Two. It's just not. But they, but again, like if you look at the feats that other characters have, that make them exceptionally strong. They are really good team fighting feats, feats that benefit the whole team. If you look at a character like JJ, he's got damage buffs on everybody around him. Uh, characters that have Juggernaut, they can stall, which means that they are highly valuable for the team as an overall. If he's like got his his tier twos, what would he take? He'd take um I guess Kunai, right? Kunai, yeah. Kunai key so he's got Ki Ai, Kunai, Ki Ai or Bounty Hunter. Kunai, Bow, Slip, Bomb, that's it. Longo, I guess. I Longo, I mean, Slip, yeah, and then, uh, because he dodges so much. What's it called? And then Fear Itself. Fear Itself, exactly. Which, uh, Fear Itself is an excellent feat, by all means. I think but, he is far from bad feats. I think I mean, he's not really, a bad feat. No, even yeah, he's they're, they're bad. good, they're more than good, I think. I think they're good, but they're just not like top tier feats. If I don't, I don't, they're not far off, are they? I, I mean, mean if you look at tier two, yeah. But look at Bounty Raider, Hunter is tier one is as is, is, I mean, is yeah, a really good feed, right? One. Bow is always fifty damage from I mean it's even better now, now yeah, that's seven hundred. And then Fear itself yeah. has always been a top tier feed. I I don't know, it's yeah, not yeah, the broken look, kinda kinda yeah, uh, beauty flask I mean, shit, then, but Yeah, compared to like like the broken stuff, it's not broken stuff. You know, like you have like yeah, well Fear, Fear, Fury and Fire Flask. Raider's got his, he's got um, Battle Cry, so you get free mid once a game, like well several times a game if you get it early enough. Um, yeah, body. I mean, Raider, Raider's got Rush. I guess is all right. Um, yeah, Fear itself is very nice, but then depends if you've got another character that's running Fear itself. Um, can't think of the meta who would have it other than an uh, assassin. Uh, only the Russians with the Glad, right? Yeah, but then if they they want to play, I mean, I can see him be uh, he's usable. I just don't think he's going to break into the top level. No, 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 no. no. Like, but I think the argument that his feats will hold him back is a little disingenuous. No, I'm just saying that just in terms of all the things he has, he hasn't got big hitboxes. He hasn't got big hyper armor. He's got safety because he can dodge cancel everything. Um, he's got neutral offense, and he's got an unblockable, which is good yeah. at like one target. And he has good feats, but not crazy good feats so and his damage is i mean with slip through it's very high but in general it's kind of like normalish um obviously yeah at the moment a moment of course they got reflex guard and assassin renown was just still a thing um until the testing grounds come through and any of those changes arrive um yeah and 120 health instead of 140 health like all the, we look at all the meta characters jj goki Raider, all 140 health. I mean, 20 health is a big difference to two light yeah. attacks or a heavy attack, and that's that is a like you you can't really um, we don't really talk about health values and stamina pool and that kind of thing, but they are big deal. Um, his bash doesn't do any stamina damage either, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, which is kind of interesting. It's no stamina pause and no damage either. Yeah. So uh, interesting. Um, when I, guess... I did my onesies today, I really felt it. Yeah, uh, against other characters, I would have gone out of stamina quite a bit more, but no, I just stopped at my whatever 10 stamina I had, and then even if I ate the bash, well, that's fine. Yeah, um, something he does have now, I guess we can. Oh, you can do oh, actually, 
Stag, can you put on revenge in for yourself? Um, in the arena settings. I can. All right. I want to see if his deflect interrupts your revenge armor. So throw any top heavy and heavy, and I will try to deflect it and not be trash. Yeah, chain chain heavy to heavy. Well, yeah, of course. It... Uh, put your health on, um, for like on regen or something. Cause... It is. It's it's on regen. Yeah. Right. Well, no, you need to throw two attacks. Your health is off. No, okay. No, it's on. It's on return. Okay. No, there's no damage coming up on you, so Let me put uh, I don't see the normal then. There you okay, go. who does still do the damage, but yeah, he doesn't bounce off super ar revenge super armor. Off hyper armor, this thing interrupts it. So um, I guess that's the big the big difference. We switch. Over, we'll switch over to raider and just demonstrate that. Um, you can go Raider and I'll and I'll go. Oh, oh, God. Oh yeah, no, I'm in charge of the lobby now, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, and I'm still tired. That's all right. No worries, man. Um, it's a, uh, I mean, what energy else drink. Is that to cover? Um, I really, I'm well, go I want to make a point about his interrupting of hyper armor. Um, oh, that's that a... is also the bow. Yes, we can go. Uh, we can do the feats in, in a moment, I guess. Um, we could go to in, into a, into a custom on new one and just now I don't know put health to low. Sure, sure. And um, enable we'll feats. do that. Emerge, you. Damage, normal feats, full. Okay, so you go um, Raider for me. I will. So do I think they're going to get rid of Reflex Guard? I, I honestly think they... I doubt they will ever get rid of Reflex Guard. I think they will probably try and f improve Reflex Guard before they get rid of it. So... Um, we can talk a little about how they might do that in a moment, I guess. Um, Any feats I should pick? Um, I'm trying to think if you can go. Is there a character with longbow that also has like a really slow longbow and high armor? Um, Kensei, can you go Kensei and um, pick longbow? I can. I used to have long. Uh, used to have slow longbow. Yep, yeah, uh, Kensei used to have a very slow longbow. So this is one of the other overall changes that's been made. Which is standardization of longbow speeds. It used to be that the Goki had the Glock and everybody else had really slow ones, and now they are all 700 ms, which is the same as um, Valkyrie's Javelin and um, Trident. So f they're, most of them are faster, essentially, and you will notice that. So you can shoot me with a, with a longbow. And we'll see. Instead of taking like a day and a half to do it, you just shoot straight away. Um, I mean, for Goki's, it's it's only a hundred ms slower for Goki, so it's actually comparable. Uh, can you then do a four dodge heavy into side heavy finisher for me? No. Oh my you god! I'm terrible. It's by the way. Which is that every time, every time I don't try and demonstrate any deflect stuff, I just eat shit every time. <laughs> uh, oh well. Yeah, that was back in the days, though, wasn't it? Back when I think Freeze covered it in his reflex yeah. card analysis. Mm, okay. Nope, that that beats. But well, the point I wanted to make there, can you see, I can dodge cancel after my deflect. So, if we were doing this with Shaman and you did that, oh my god, I am just just asleep today. Not oh, that, I knew that was way too early. <laughs> Not just you. That's just me being shit. But no, I'm just if, I, if I weren't shit, I, and that didn't interrupt Hyper Armor, um, actually, now we've got. 
Let's go back to training mode because I can show it with a, with a revenge super armor much easier. As we've seen, it interrupts. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm probably doing. Well, I know. I think I'm just mistiming it. Honestly, I'm just and being terrible. So you can go raider. Um, I will do that. We're not going to cover the TG soon just today, though, right? No, we're not going to talk about TG stuff today because that's not out yet. Oh, yeah, right. And it's late, anyways. What point am I trying to make? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, or just like watching me fail to flex on Twitch. Um, I never claim to be a good player. Just, yeah, end of sentence. I'm I'm bad. Um, I know I know what you meant to do. I just really bad at actually doing it. Okay, so uh, bear with me as we as I attempt to demonstrate something. We'll start off with yeah, just throw a top regular top heavy. It's always going to interrupt it. Um, oh, sorry. Yep, it beat the yeah. thing. It beat the so thing. now, if you stick on um, revenge armor, well, just put on revenge even for yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. I said revenge armor. I don't know why I said. Doesn't matter. Uh, that was me. So you can keep on chaining. Weird. Oh, you know what? You actually it. It's changed to being like a bash. You can't dodge cancel it if it bounces. Um, that was totally accidental. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I just bad. I, I there we go. Put your good. health on regen, and then I can try it like to do all three in a row. Oh, I think that was the thing is I'm doing too early now. Um, I think the one I did, uh, the, the one that actually landed, uh, I just failed to buffer it early enough. Well, I just kind of doing. And I will attempt to not be. That's a side heavy. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm going way too early on these. So. Imagine how cool that would have been. Is what I'm trying to say. Doing that on a regular person, I'd have had 18, 18 plus. 18 and then another 4 damage. It would have been, it would have been dope. Is, and, Sh and Shaman can do it. And it would have been cool if Roach can do it. But instead of... He's got an adequate tool that can beat Chain Hyper Armor with this crazy good dodge cancel. And instead of allowing people to use that tool, they've essentially made it a, a, not, a not a necessity. So you can just beat Chain Hyper Armor without thinking. But I guess Orochi is... I, I can't help but feel that he is the poster child for pandering to people's complaints because he got rid of his light attacks. <laughs> they got rid of, uh, he gave him, gave him a kick. He's hyper armor, his deflect beats hyper armor. What else are they going to, what else do people complain about now that um, Orochi, I guess they, they also didn't keep his dodge attacks as heavy parries because everybody hates dodge heavies. Um, maybe I'm being a bit ranty and a bit, a bit untradable here, but I do feel like he would, have, he would have actually been better if the Deflect Punish didn't beat Hyper Armor. Because he could then... I don't know, I'm against that change anyways. I've said that I mean, repeatedly. I it's just... I don't know. It's them caving to, to Reddit, I think. Yeah. It's yeah, that's just what it is. Um, because Deflects apparently need to beat everything, need to be the best move, because it's... For real, it's the, the most difficult thing to pull off, apparently, so... Well, I mean, if you watch me, apparently it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But no, I, I hate that. I hate that yeah. thing. It's just, it's been ingrained into people's minds from all these montages and shit and all. I mean, deflects look fancy, sure, but they're not the hardest thing to do, right? It's just, if you play nothing but assassins and just dodge into every fucking indicator, then eventually you'll get them. And you yeah. can have your montage then and... So it's Halo just... Spartan is right. Yeah, it is a it is essentially a bash. It, I mean, it's a direct damaging bash, basically. Um, I will see if it has. I can actually 
measure if it is a different property later on, but it's botanic. It's time to do that. Um, whilst we are in training, let's go and talk about some other option selects which are still in the game. So we'll switch up again. Um, if you go Conqueror, Stag, and I will go Peacekeeper. Because these are two... Oh, actually, no. I'll go Berserker because I prefer Berserker. I like Peacekeeper as well, but particularly So whilst most parry options lex are gone, there are some which are still I mean we we've always referred to them as options lex back in like in various different guide videos and so on. But they aren't option selects in the like exactly the same way as you're expecting. As like zone options like are, so they are parts of character move sets that will work. That should well finger quote should still work. So we'll start off with oh actually conqueror can't do light attacks can he? So um all right, let's try if you stay if you go uh so basically what I want to do is show that you can. Dodge, cancel, and deflect light, parry lights, and deflect heavies. So if you go, because I won't be able to parry a light attack on reaction, just I won't be able to. Um, if you throw a side heavy and then either a top light or a top heavy, I will try and do the um, the, the option select on that. So. I'm gonna disable stem that one sec. Flex. Oh, I want my bad. Uh, okay, try the um, opposite side. So go side to opposite side one. Are you sure it's possible on the top heavy? From the I, don't, I am not sure it's possible. Um, I think it also needs to be a rather slow heavy. I think Kong's heavy is too fast. Yeah, I think Kong heavy might be too fast. Uh, I mean, I, I just, I'm only saying I that know what you're trying to show, but it's a pain in the ass to get. Yeah, you could try going, like, give me a countdown to a top light. Hang on, but just, just do it different. And just, you don't have to show. Just show the the principle of it just throw yeah. heavy and dodge out of it and, and uh, so basically it. the idea is that i can okay that's what you could do instead of um uh so can you can go either a light attack or a heavy which you soft faint to full block so i can dodge light it instead no uh, from a, a chain because i can't parry neutral lines so you heavy and then like that yeah yeah like that except different side it's obviously a different side heavy because different different side light because obviously that see that's a there we go so that's this is a demonstration of it Yeah, basically what he's doing is parrying on light timing and buffering a soft fade into dodge, which would deflect the heavy on that correct timing. Yeah, if that's it, it, it depends on the um, on the heavies because obviously you have to line up the soft faint window with with the deflect window of the heavy. So and it works better on I think. I think Barrack, what was Barrack saying about it in, in, he said it works on, if you have 500 MS difference in, 
Yeah. So it's, it's what like... is the difference between uh, can say lights and heavies side ones? Yeah. Is that five hundred? Because I know for sure that it works on them because yeah, that's that is, when yeah. I tested all these years ago. Yeah. So yeah, it, it depends. It's different on versus top and side heavies because side heavies are eight hundred ms from from Zerk and top heavies are nine hundred ms. So I think yeah, I think it is nine hundred ms for side heavies and a thousand ms for top heavies. But the point is that that option select does still work, and I guess if you um, like mix it up. I mean, it depends on the parry timing. It's probably a bit of flexibility there. So that's one option select. Um, I've now just realized that I can't... that we can't show the other one I'm thinking of on Conk with... Um, well, I guess we can do one. Um, Stag, do you think you can parry my light attack on reaction if I just do top light? Uh, you can feint a top heavy into a top light. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I'll either feint a top heavy into a top light or into a top heavy, and you just parry on light timing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do it with sides instead because that that will that will be a bit silly. Sorry, that's right. I just fainted it. Apparently, just attack it and come out. Hmm. Too early. Hang on, let me, let me... There we go. I'm pairing a bit. Yeah, Conqueror just needs to know exactly who he's fighting against and uh, yeah. the window of that, because you can always just slightly hold it if you charge it ever so slightly. Uh, three different windows. So this is a option select where you parry on light timing, and you, you like you either let the heavy go or you wait and like let it go a little bit later and then you superior block the incoming heavy so that is another option select that Bonk has um i guess we can show <laughs> there's one zone option select that is i guess still there in some circumstances which is yeah Bonk full block zone so i could um if I if I guess I faint if I throw a heavy into a light faint, you can just I mean it's not really an option select, it's just a your zone, that's it. Yeah, it's not it's not an option select, it's just It covers option. so many options. It beats you, the GB, you, beats every blockable attack. Do it, do it on a don't just hold it, because obviously that's not really what you you're not gonna just hold it forever. But if you see my heavy attack coming This is going to be the same parry timing as before because it's got 100 ms startup. So essentially, zone options let well. Essentially, Conk can still do his zone. Conk, yeah, Conk has still got really good defense, at least against blockable attacks. Um, against unblockable attacks, he won't be able to zone option select them, but you can still. Uh, you won't be able to. You know, does he have options like? Do you think will work against unblockables freeze? Nothing that beats faint. Not really. No. I mean, I mean, he's got a dodge attack, so you know, a, a dodge bash, which is hard to. Play. I mean, you can always hold and dodge out of it and bash. I mean, oh, yeah. it does parry, but it's just as it's still susceptible to a GB just because you're holding it. Yeah. So if you he's, he has his charge heavy, I guess I'll, I'll I'll throw a top heavy, and you can either faint into. Normally, you want to soft faint it, so. That was some. I mean, it's it's not an option. Like it's just a lot of stuff at the same time that you can yeah. press. I mean, you can probably still uh, charge a full block straight zone to beat the GB. Yeah, might still work. It's just it's a lot of button presses, and it's not an option set because it's you. It's always that what's happening. Yes, exactly. So these aren't option selects. In, well, no, the the ch the charged heavy one is an option select because it's either a parry or it's a, a heavy. I but mean, I it, fair enough. That's just the, the, that's the, just the like, parry mechanic itself. Exactly. So it's um, that is. So those are two in terms of like. I mean, we already talked about the deflect option select. So I guess you can show that 
uh, Stag, if you throw me a side heavy and I will try and... Uh... Can, I, can I do the... Um... I actually managed to deflect one ever. Wow. I just do the top one instead because I can deflect that a little bit easier at least. Really? Sorry, I fell asleep. Maybe if I'm. I literally just fell asleep. It is. Uh, you need. The thing is, I don't think you can do it, Span, yet because you need to parry on early light timing. It's not a. Something no, I was amazing. going for like I was going for the deflect options, like where I dodge attack and do the if I if I press dodge light oh. and GB at the same time, okay. I should do the deflects if I deflect on early time. So if you just throw me a top heavy, yeah, there we go. So I'm pressing dodge light and deflect. Uh, the, yeah. well, I'm still getting. I just I cannot do. There we go. There go. And then if you sometimes faint that, or well. Oh my god. And it's lucky. Yeah, we see some. Yeah, so there is a, like, the deflect option select is still a thing. Um, basically. But, yeah. Um, what else shall we... I, I need to go to bed. I'm yeah, sorry. Me too, it's, me it's too, it's too late for... It's, it's too left. fucking I am. <laughs> I guess NA people need to cover this in the future. It's just, it's just not feasible to do for three no new worries. people yeah. to do this shit. Sorry. Yep, this is true. So, no worries. Um, but yeah, but yeah so... you covered most of it, right? Yeah, we've covered... the only thing we haven't really touched on is sticky dodging and Tiandi's feats, but those are going to need... I'd need, like, people to demonstrate that with us anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, Essentially, yeah. sticky dodging, you should always dodge in the direction you want to dodge, although apparently back dodging doesn't work very much anymore. I don't know why. It, it did feel weird trying to do that with Shaman earlier. Like, it just was... Yeah, I, I had that with Raider too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. So maybe there's a bug with back dodges. Mm. Who knows? Uh, um, I mean, and Tiandi's feats, tier 1 works now. Rally Call is finally fixed. Woo! Tier 3 is better. Or more consistent. Yeah. Um, and that's it, really. Um, Pet I mean, this for for all the details is in the chat right now, and I'll have it in the YouTube description too. I don't know, have they have they actually added the option selects and sticky dodges to the patch notes because they yeah I think weren't there initially. But, um, I think okay. they updated it. Sure. Well, anyway, anyway yeah. so yeah, in terms of big changes, option selects, sticky dodges, raider, Orochi, crashing charge, dead. Well, it was like, you know, not as crazy as it was. And yeah, that's a, and some, some, there are some things you can still do to beat heavy and faint to guard break and all the things. And Conqueror, it has one of those characters, one of those ones. So yeah. you have to think a bit more about it to use it, but they exist still um, yeah. in some ways. All right. So we'll call it night there because I'm getting, I'm exhausted. Stag's exhausted. I literally Please. just fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> It really tells it really tells you a lot about how entertaining my voice is if Stag's <laughs> able, able to, to fall asleep whilst I'm literally talking at him. I literally <laughs> I managed to do that the other day too. So I don't know. Oh, oh, so so multiple That's... times apparently. It's not just a fluke. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much everybody for joining us. Um, hope you have a great evening and thanks, big thanks, Freeze. Thanks, Stag again for streaming. Thanks, uh, no Carl, for joining us earlier, and good night, everybody. Good Bye. night, guys. Bye-bye.